Welcome to this week's Monday Market Update here in Phoenix, Arizona. Hi, I'm Teresa Zek, Realtor with eXp Realty, and I'm gonna take a little time to talk about what our market looks like over this past week. The numbers I'm about to go over come from the Cromford Report. This publication provides detailed information to track the history and the current status of the residential resale market across the valley. One of the main factors they tracked is CMI. What is it? The Cromford Market Index is a value that provides a short-term forecast for a balanced market, meaning what is the relationship of supply, the number of homes for sale, and the demand, the number of buyers looking to buy. It comes from looking at the active, pending, and sold listings compared to the data of the past four years. Values below 100 indicate the buyer's market, and values above indicate a seller's market. And when we're at 100, we are at balance. Let's look at where we are today. The CMI is at 366 for May. This is down from 447.2 in April. Still nowhere near a balance, but we are moving towards that balance 100 mark. We are still in a strong seller's market, down 75% still in supply and up 6% in demand. Even with interest rates at an increase, we still have more buyers out there than normal. Let's look at the active listings last month at this time. We had 8,824 total listings, including under contract and contract contingent on buyer sale. This month we have 10,648. That's almost 2,000 more than last month and we are moving up in inventory. Now let's talk about new construction. This is a word of caution. Red flag and understand your contract. New home developers continue to struggle with labor shortages and supply chain issues. It's not uncommon for builders to estimate 14 to 16 months before they complete the home. This means you as a seller could have to rent back for a significant period of time or find a place to lease. The challenging part is that you have no control over when your home will be completed. You have to be prepared to be in it for the long run. Prices along with these timelines have been rising sharply. This means that by the time the home is built, the cost to complete it have gone up and it's worth significantly more than when you negotiated the first purchase price. For this reason, some builders are including escalation clauses in their contracts that allow them to raise the price prior to closing escrow to accommodate these higher costs to build and closer reflect the current market value. What is an escalation clause? If you went under contract at 500,000, due to an increase in materials, the builder is now asking you to sign an escalation clause, stating that by the time the home is complete, the purchase price could be up to 600,000. In addition to the escalation clause, a handful of builders are including restrictions on when a homeowner can sell or rent the home after close. Some of my clients have found their home worth 50 to 100,000 more than when they built it. This value is immediately upon the closing of their home. It's important to read the builder contracts closely and ensure you understand every section before moving forward. That is it for today. I hope you found this information valuable. Remember, real estate is local. So if you have any questions about your community, give me a call at 480-369-0072. Again, I'm Teresa with eXp Realty. Thanks for watching and have a great day.